In this video, we're going to look at how we can build a multi-section menu in Off Canvas Helper. And it's really easy. I'm going to start here using our bare bones Off Canvas block. And inside our empty container here, I am going to add a div. And inside that div, I am going to add a link. I'm going to duplicate that link a few times. And I'm going to give these some names. Okay, pretty generic. All right, so we have our, um, our list of names. We have um, select on the left-hand panel here. We have a div. What's really important too is to make sure that we've kept our, um, our default div, which is off canvas content. We want to keep uh, preserve that in place. We've made a div inside that one, which has our links. And this one here is going to be what we're going to call our menu section. Okay, so we're actually going to give it a class called menu section. I'm going to do that over here. And the naming of this um, div is really important to use this class, and we'll find out in a little while. I'm just going to add some top and bottom um, padding here, just for visual purposes. You don't have to do that. So we have our first menu section. Actually, there's one more thing that I want to do. I want to give it a unique ID. So I'm going to call that menu home. Okay. Um, so we've got a unique ID. We've got a custom class called menu section on our div. And that's all we need to create a menu section. Now we want to have three menu sections in our example. We're going to have one for our products and one for our services. So what I'm going to do with our um, div selected, I'm going to duplicate that two more times. And this one I'm going to make our products one. Product one. Okay, so now we have three divs in our off canvas. Um, and what each one has menu section as a class. And or the other two that we duplicated, what we need to do is actually give them a unique ID. So our first one we called a menu home. The second one for products, I'm going to call menu products. And our last one here, I'm going to call menu services. Right, that's it. That's our menus. Now if we were to preview this, something strange happens. I go and open the off canvas and we can actually only see our first menu item. And this is actually a feature that's built into off canvas helper. When you use that menu section class, blocks uh, off canvas helper goes through and it turns off all of them except the first one. So you can have these in any order you like, but the first one is going to be your main one. It's pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to assign one of our uh, links to activating one of our other menu items. And we can do that really easily. So what I'm going to do with our products one, um, I'm going to use an interaction down here on the right panel, and I'm going to select toggle class. Let's toggle class. And in the target ID, I'm going to, do, I'm going to assign in here two IDs. I'm going to put our main, our main menu ID because we're, we're going to toggle the active class on this to inactive. And we want to toggle our, our product menu to be active. So we need to add both. So with our product selected, our interaction set to interact, interaction sent to toggle class, I'm going to write in here menu home. And then we can separate these with a comma. And then I'm going to put menu products. And the class that we're going to active, activate or toggle is going to be called active. Right, so if we go to our preview now, and we open our menu, and if I click on products, oop, spelling mistake. There we go, I spelled products wrong. There we go. Let's try that again. 
go to preview, click on menu, click on products, we'll see our product menu appear. Pretty cool. Although we do have a problem now because we can't go back. So we can fix that easily by in our products one here. I'm going to add another link above. And I'm going to call that one back. And I might put a little, let's put a chevron there. Okay. So we're going to do a similar thing here with our backlink is that I'm going to uh, toggle the class on the, our, our home one and on our products one. So with that selected, I'm going to interactions. I'm going to toggle class. We want to put our home one again. So that's menu home, separate by comma and menu products. And the class that we're toggling is called active. Okay, let's take a look at that. Go to our products. Then we have our back button. If I click on back, we go back to our main menu. Awesome. Now we can do this with many um, elements. So uh, let's, let's set up our services to activate. I'm going to select services, change our interaction to toggle class. First ID is going to be called uh, menu home, comma, and then menu services. And we're going to toggle our active class. Now, for us to be able to go back from our services to our home one, instead of a link, I'm actually going to add an icon. And we're going to set our interaction to toggle class, our IDs, menu home, comma, menu, services, and we're toggling active. Awesome. So we have our products and our services, and we can use the icon to go back. Awesome, so that's the basics of creating a multi-section menu with Off Canvas Helper. Okay, have a fantastic day.